Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome back to Primrose Lake. In the last one they got letters that was threatening and they're trying to figure out who is writing these letters. It says like a hundred years old. But let's get started. We are still at the Clary Cat. The past meets the present. I was wondering where those went. Huh. Now, what did I do with that spooky note I found? Did I lose it in the library? And where's that envelope with the deed? And all the articles? Jess, you're in no condition to try to remember where you left all the, a few scraps of paper. If you keep it up, you'll become one of those paranoid shut-ins. Seeing conspiracies around every corner. I'm sure you'll turn up once I get a few hours of sleep. If I can get some sleep. Clean three tables in a row twice. Sorry guys, I got something in my eyeball.
Mind if I come in? No, no, of course not. As long as you don't try to kidnap me. As long as you don't try to bust my brains out. It was understandable under the circumstances. Some family, huh? This is yours. Oh. That's you pushing me. That's you pushing me on the swing. Yeah, you kind of forgot to take it when you ran away. You keep it. Considering it a peace offering. Simpler days. Hopefully there are more to come. You think that's possible after everything that's happened? Well, after Dad left, disappeared, Mom was hurt and angry for a long time. But as time passed, she started to be her old self, and then she met George. And everything was good again. At one point, I asked her if she even thought about my dad anymore. She told me of course she did, but if you learn to let go, you can move on. But somehow the old memories layer on top of the new memories and amazing things can happen. Like what? Like, maybe we can go back to that swing sometime? I like, I think I'd like that. Me too. But first, I really got to get some sleep. You want me to walk you to the manor? Mmm, I think I had enough of Clary history for one day. I'll crash here if you don't mind. like we're back at the sheriff's office. There's nothing like a dear visit from your dear old mom. I wonder if anyone is going to bring me breakfast. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Jennifer, I heard that. You know, I don't have any patience for these kinds of games. This is a jail. She's not hiding. Wait here and I'll go get her. Oh no, after all the trouble she's caused, I'm coming too. Hi, Jenny. Sorry about the... When that little hippie girl showed up, I told us and told us, well, I just couldn't believe it. My own, my one and only daughter in prison. Your poor father, he had to rest just the thought of it. Is he sick? Don't be a fool, he's at the club. Probably have to stay there all week. Just the thought of it, mind you. But to see you here now, locked up like a fer fertile, fertile animal, what didn't you provide to me? You wanted b for nothing. Nothing. As if so much to ask you to marry a nice man and give me a grandchild or two. My only daughter. Mom, I'm famished. Do you think we can? you can finish the lecture after over breakfast? Yes, I suppose. I need to keep up my strength under the circumstances. Thanks. I'll leave the door open in case you've changed your mind. Looks like we're going to the diner. Give me a break.
Oh my, people actually eat here? Hi Megs, can we get a booth? Oh sure, now you brought some fancy city woman to criticize my cooking. Are you sure you can't wait until we're back to civilization? Mom, I've been locked in a jail cell. Forgotten, I'm starving. Sure, sure, it's always about you. All right, if we must, let's sit as far away from the door as we can. I don't want anyone to see me here. Mom, we don't know anyone in this town. Please, one could never be too discreet. Try to take Jenny's order. I think I'm going to have people leaving here soon.
And if I get three stars, that'd be amazing. <laughs> I don't see it though. I don't know. It looks like we're gonna get it. Got three stars. And if you could have her overheard Glendolyn going on and on. I'm going to have to quit my book club if she doesn't stop. I simply won't be able to show my face anywhere. All the girls from the Sunday brunch were there. Dr. Shibrook, Councilman Johnson, and you ran away from that uh, the altar and left me to come up with some excuse for you. How could you do that to me? We didn't order that. It's not for you. It's for her. You aren't actually going to eat that, are you? It's got right... It'll go right to your thighs. What a mother. I knew kind of crazy. Poor Matt, you crushed that dear man's heart. You should have seen him. So brave, so delightful, so handsome. I swear advisement compliments that man. It's a good thing falling for a woman like you. If you're lucky, he'd and may actually take you back. But you we have to act fast before the, your shame before the shame of your in car t a uh, catches you up catches up to you it's too late i did that interview with the times jennifer you wouldn't Beside the doctor.
be letting me finish recording. <gasps> Darn it! I didn't notice she was coming behind the counter. That's it. I can't stand stay in this godforsaken town in another minute. Jennifer, you can believe I don't have a single bar on my phone. It's unbelievable. Come on, I saw a crappy little town about two hours away. Dusty something. Dusty Springs. Dusty Springs. God, even the name sounds dismal. Some people around here find it quite nice. Oh no, that can't possibly be true. Well everyone, I have to cut this short because I have to go to my cousin's house. But I will see you all in the next video. If you are liking, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because I blew twice a day. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye.